<laughs> this is my tablet case. So it's got a pocket on the front, so that's a handy place where you can keep things like your, your pens and pencils and notelets and things like that. On the inside, it just ties over with a bow. It's got a nice deep pocket and it's all padded so it helps to protect and that's where my, uh, my iPad or my tablet can go. So you can make it custom fit to any size you like and I think this would make, uh, make a perfect present for anybody, wouldn't it? What do you think? So measure the size of your tablet and then I've added about an inch and a quarter all the way around and then double it. So my fabric here measures 11 and a half inches across and that's by 18 inches long. I've got two pieces of the fabric and I've got a piece of just wool wadding as well. That could be wadding, batting, fusible fleece, anything to give your fabric a little bit of substance. Now there's going to be a pocket on the inside of my sleeve, which I've cut to the same width. So this is going to go in here. So that's 11 and a half inches wide. And depth wise is eight and a half inches so again it's just a little bit larger than my tablet so that'll sit inside the sleeve nicely and I've got two pieces of fabric for that and I'm going to put a zip pocket on the outside as well so I've cut four pieces of fabric and the zip's going to go in the centre so two pieces measuring eleven and a half inches by four and one piece measuring 11 and a half by two inches, sorry, two pieces underneath there. And then my zip's going to sit in the centre like so. And so that I don't see the raw edges, I'm going to put some ribbon trim over the seam here and here, and I'm going to fasten the whole thing with ribbon as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make up the pocket. So what I need to do is to sandwich the zip in between both pieces of fabric. So put that right sides together. I like to use oversized zips and cut them down. You can do that with any nylon zip. This is um, a continuous zip, but it doesn't have to be so. And that's going to be pieced in between those two pieces there. Now do these one at a time if you haven't done it before. And if you wanted to pin or baste first of all, then of course do. But you just need to make sure that all of the edges are lined up and these sides here meet up at the end as well. So pop your zipper foot on your sewing machine and we'll just sew down the centre of the tape. So making sure that all of those three edges are lined up if you're not pinning or basting. Still lining them up. Have your iron on at this point, open those two pieces up and give that a press and then the other two smaller pieces go on the opposite side. So again face down making sure your ends are lined up, that one face up so you've got a zip sandwich and again so about halfway down the tape. got my, um, my iron on and no matter how helpful you are Elfie you can't do that for me I'm going to top stitch down either side and that will hold the layers of fabric together but it will also look nice and attractive as well so looking nice and neat I'll just trim the ends of the zip off And we'll pop this into position on the front of the case. So I just want the one layer at the moment. There we go. I'll fold that in half just so that I can see where the pocket's going to go. Do bear in mind that you're going to have 
a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around the outside and that can sit about there so I'll pop a couple of pins in I'm not going to pin all the way through I mean, measure and mark that if you think that it may not be perfectly straight And then remember I said I was going to cover up the raw edges with ribbon, so I'll do this all in one go. If, uh, if again, you're not too confident, then put um, a line of stitches across the top of here before you put the ribbon on. So that's just going to go straight over the raw edges and I'll sew down both sides. I'll pop my standard foot back on the machine again. and straight as I go. And then back down the other side. same with the opposite side. I'm not worried about sewing the edges together down here because those will come together when I sew the whole thing together. So again take my ribbon and sew over the raw edge. trim all of these edges later on but that's how the outside of my case is going to look and you can see I've got a purposeful pocket which is all nicely lined and finished off on the inside as well. Now for the pocket on the inside you could put some batting behind this as well if you wanted to make it a little bit more substantial. I'm going to sew right sides together the two pieces of pocket fabric. I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. That's not set in stone. This isn't something that you're going to wear, so it's an ideal project uh, for a beginner or if you're not very confident about your seam allowances. Okay, I'm going to fold this over. Again, I press normally at this point, but I'm just going to top stitch to hold those layers in place. ribbon across the top of there if I wanted to decorate that a little bit but just for speed's sake I shan't but what we're going to do now is to start assembling the whole thing together. So there's the outside and 
there's my batting or wadding that's going to go on the back of that piece. That to one side for a second. This is the inside with just the pocket on the one side here and I'm going to put that right up to the edge. You could put another one on the top if you wanted to. And I'm just going to put a few tacking stitches just around here, just to hold that in place. So I'll have a couple of pins. You won't see these stitches, purely because they'll be inside the seam. Um, but I like to um, tack on the sewing machine, tack or base, same thing, um, rather than leave pins in, because if you turn something inside out and it's got pins in it, you're going to spike yourself. So that's the one side, just a few stitches across the bottom and then a few stitches on the other side as well. Like so. Now I said I'm going to tie the whole thing together with ribbon. So I'll cut two lengths, these are about 8 inches long, 10 inches long, you can always cut those down to size afterwards, better too long than too short. I need to mark the centre point of where the ribbon is going to go, so if I finger crease that I'll get a mark and my ribbon is going to face inwards and again I'm just tacking this on my sewing machine so I don't have to pin. My needle's just come undone. Bear with me a second. Thank goodness for needle threaders, eh? of the tie goes on the opposite side so again if I fold that over in half make a crease I can see where the ribbon needs to go face it inwards and so really close to the edge again that's just like a attacking stitch right now we'll start to put the whole thing together so these ribbons I want out of the way, I don't want to be sewing over those, so I make sure they stay in the centre. And then the outside of my bag is going to go face down on the top like so. Then I'm going to sew all the way around the edge, and I'll need to leave a gap so that I can turn this the right side out. So the easiest place, I think, is going to be at the side of the pocket, so I'll leave a gap down here. So I'm going to pop a few pins in. And so all the way around. I'll start from where I'm going to leave that gap. And I'll just sew a couple of stitches backwards to lock the stitches and then carry on forwards. And I just need to leave that big enough to probably get my hand in to turn it the right way around. So about four inches should do. And take out my pins. Oh, get that safe. And then we're going to cut off the corners. So quite close to the stitch but be careful not to snip through the zip and this means that when you turn it the right side out it'll be less bulky in the corner so they're more likely to be square. Let's trim away any excess bits and bobs like so and then let's turn this the right side out. There we 
go and nearly done. So I'm just going to push out the corners. If you have something like um, a blunt pencil, that, that's a good poking device. Um, or of course a bamboo creaser is made to do this job. Don't use your scissors, you have holes in your work. Right, so we're nearly done. I'm not going to worry about hand sewing over that hole where I turned it. I'm going to top stitch all the way around on my sewing machine. In just a second. That's the final corner. And again, I, I press this before I carry on. Right. So there's my opening. And the sides kind of want to fold in, and that's fine because I'm going to top stitch over the top of that. So where should we start? I'll start here. And this is really close to the edge, about a, a sixteenth of an inch away from the hem if you can. Try and keep this as straight as you can because you will see those stitches on the outside. Careful over the zip because that's actually quite bulky now. That, that'll be the wood pigeon on the chimney. And we'll just a stitch backwards to lock those and we are finished. So let's trim away those loose threads. There we go. And let's see if everything fits. So there's my pocket on the front. Again that's all nice and neat and, and lined so that's going to be useful to keep pencils and things like that in. As so we open this up my tablet should fit in here nicely. There we go. And then we'll tie that over. And again, just trim off the ends of the ribbon. And we're done.